Potts, this round is so exciting when you get to, to this position for the fans because we know that there's consequence on the line. Time to make two eliminations. First in this seat with Caroline Marks taking on Keely Andrew and the wild card, Summer Macedo, followed by Joanne DeFay, Brisa Hennessy, and two-time world champ Tyler Wright on her comeback to the jersey. Joe with Potts for the call. World number three from Florida, Caroline Marks. Got checked in nice and early with that jersey. Wanted to get a quick start. Got that first wave. Just missed out on a big end section hit. 32-25 to go. Scored on their top two rides. Their goal is to stay in the top two in this heat and avoid that third place position. Yeah, exactly right. And I'm sure that's in the back of Caroline Marks' mind right now. Starting off quick, though, which I like. Uh, looks like she's riding a little bit of a longer board as opposed to this morning. Maybe a little bit more confidence uh, under her feet there. Still a little bit wobbly on that first wave there for Caroline. And then putting herself in the world title race in her second strike on tour. Whitewater rolling attempt here for Macedo. She'll get to her feet and now committing down the line. A local girl from Maui setting up the top turn wrap. And eyes the point to exit after that quick turn to start. Caroline getting a 2 5 on her opener. Summer will be scored for that first turn. And now Keely Andrews sits with priority. You can see Summer having a look at this one here. She waits for it to give her a little help in there. Little chip in. I mean, obviously, you know, kind of difficult to ride these kind of ways because there's a lot of white water on the face. Generally, a lot harder to set your fins. But you can see how it starts to get that double up section on it. These are the ones you want and almost made a mistake. Now setting up live action with Keely Andrew, who's been an injury replacement wild card all season. Keely gets tangled up and goes down, pulling a seven for the start. We talked about Keely's injury at the end of last season. Hey, you know, all the young ladies pretty much slow scores, but it, it's a super tricky lineup at the moment. And once they work it out, I mean, look at the wind and rain. Here we go. Summer Macedo driving into that first hook. Looking for a second maneuver to back it up. Clean. Snap off the top. Here comes the rapid cutback. Macedo allowed to open up a bit more on this one. Jams that final turn incomplete on the effort. That's her best ride of the heat so far. And she will take the lead off Caroline Marks with 21 minutes to go. You know, she really put a lot more energy into her maneuvers, looked a lot more confident as well. Right from the get-go, this first turn here, just nice hook in the pocket. You know, Honolulu Bay, it's all about timing, isn't it? You know, finding the right wave and, and then producing those big turns at the right time. A couple of nice maneuvers there, definitely her best wave, and it's going to be tough to beat that one. They had to kick you out of there, Potts. You are like, hey, contest is over. You're like, I'm staying. It's my new home. Watching this, Summer Macedo. Just took the lead with a 3-6-7. Snaps it high off the lip. She'll have a beautiful trot to follow. Timing the lip line well. And the local legend will float into the lineup to get her. caught up with the last wave of Summer Macedo. Beautiful uh, inside section here for Summer. That's better there. Now... All about timing, you know, wait for that section to show itself and then react accordingly. And, and Summer's done exactly that. Caroline Marks frames it vertically on that first section. Clean off the bottom, smaller wave to work with at this stage. I love how vertical she got. Got the call quickly to have maybe the best back end on tour after kicking off the season with a brilliant win at the Boost Mobile Pro on the Gold Coast. Caroline Marks starting to find some form, starting to look a lot more confident, and drops a 4.50 on this occasion. So, needs to find that groove. After Bronte Nicolas last hit, she's thrown her out in the mix, that's for sure. It's incredible surfing from Bronte in that last hit. Here comes Keely Andrew. Just searching, and she'll hop out of there. Speaking of Macaulay. Brontes with Strider. Yeah, he's just always out there and always here to, to support me and um, just help me out. Great heat. Great to get the highest heat total of that round and can't wait to see your next one. Thanks, Strider. Cheers.
It's the best, so beautiful, and one of the best waves in the world is the venue for the season finale for the best women athletes in the world. Caroline Marks, world number three, jams that first section, goes around that section, fading rapid cutback, attacking the open face again. It looks like she's got an inside wedge. Great timing and pace. Bottom turn to hack off the top. And chips her way out of the inside corner on the cakey ball. 0.5 is long gone, putts. Yeah, long gone, Joe, that's for sure. And, you know, a lot more commitment out the back, straight off the bat, which I really love. Kind of sat down on her heels there just a little bit. Maybe missed that section, could have really unleashed a big turn there. And then found the groove again towards the back part of this wave. So definitely showing up now. She knows the severity of this heat. She can't afford to take any chances. And a seven-point ride follows that score. Be beautiful to see a young Japanese lady on tour, that's for sure. Mura dominated the 10,000 event at Pantene, a big part of her role this year on the QS. Interesting wave here for Keely Andrews, sitting with priority, and ends up being caught behind. And we, and we all see these beautiful rookie races, uh, rookie of the years, you know, come down to the wire. It's going to be unreal. It's a fun debate. Summer Maceno. Trying to get the board speed up to attack that section. It's effective with the completion. 4.5 is their backup score. Is that going to be better? Also, last wave for Summer Macedo here. Yeah, Summer, well, in a pretty good spot at the moment. She needs to uh, better a 3.33. Big snap at the end of that wave. I like the fact she's keeping busy, she's catching waves. A couple of threes at the moment. Caroline Marks, her previous wave was the big 7.0. Looking comfortable and calm on her approach. Body's not really moving around too much. It's so subtle until she just puts that hand down and lays that bottom turn to eye off the lip line. Back that section right there. I mean, that thing literally stood up and said, hit me, and she kind of went around it. So. Beautiful out the back maneuver. Maybe she didn't need it, you know, in the back of her mind. She's like, yep, I'm on, I'm on my way to a, a good score. Um, let's just make this way. I mean, right here, see that section right there go, goes down and around it. The Caroline Marks I know would have belted. Three goofy foot wins in a row. Chelsea back to back, then to Jesse. Here's a goofy foot now trying to bring one back for the backhanders. Here at the Bay, world number three, Caroline Marks survives the elimination round, stays in the title race and Olympic qualification. With Lakey Peterson and Carissa Moore, she moves on to the round of 16, <laughs> annihilating Ow. her ride on the buzzer. We'll take a break. Back for more at the Bay after this.